Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com, and here's a video on how to transfer music from iPhone to computer for free using Syncus. Okay, let's get started by going out to their website, and on their home page, we can take a look at what else you get for free in this app. You get the ability to back up your music, transfer photos, manage ebooks, manage contacts, manage apps, and you also get to convert videos. You get a lot for a free application. We can download now, but before we do, let's take a look at a screenshot of uh, backing up your music and transferring it to your computer from your iPhone. We'll scroll down here and we'll click on this screenshot here. So you can see that this is a very user-friendly interface to use. Let's go ahead and close this out and click on the download and get this download to our computer. In IE, I get this prompt, uh, this type of file could harm your computer. I know this file is okay and safe to download. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. And I like to do a save as and tell it where I want to save the file. In this case, I'm gonna click on download and I'm gonna save it right in that folder and click on save. Um, I speed it things up here, but it doesn't take too long to download this uh, this app. All right, once it's done, um, I'm going to just go ahead over here and click on Run. And that will start the install process. And I'm going to click on OK. English is good for me. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Next here. And I agree with the license agreement. I'm going to click on Next. And go ahead and take the defaults here. This all looks good to me. And yeah, I do on the desktop, so I'm going to click on Next. All right, right here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Custom because I don't want to install these extra things here. I'm going to uncheck here and uncheck here. And uh, that way, I only install the app and nothing else. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next. And all right, there we go. Okay, the install is completed. And I do want it to launch after I click on finish. So I'm going to click finish. And the app will automatically open up for me here. Uh, let me go ahead and close out the browser so we can see this a little bit more clearly. Okay, this is the interface that you get when you first open. You need to plug in your iPhone and it becomes fully functional. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like my video.